the heated steering wheel feature is pretty nice on mornings like this. Oh, it is nice. That's nice. Now, it is beautiful out here. I don't know how well you can see, but this is my first cast. It is January 30th, 2021. This is my first cast on the brand new, rebuilt, partially refinished, bunch of adjectives there, Gulf State Park Pier. So let's go. There we go. All right, got that cast out. Now, I'm throwing this on a brand new Shimano Saragossa Saltwater 5000. I just picked this up over at Sam's Stop and Shop over in Orange Beach from Chris Vecce. He hooked me up with some 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick and this is on my Ninja Tackle Dagger. So, this is kind of an overkill for pure fishing, uh, shallow. Now, for kings, hey, that'd be great. But for shallow, it's kind of overkill. This is my beach setup, but it's all I was bringing today. So, it can do. But normally a good seven and a half foot rod and like a 4,000 size reel, such as this Shimano Stratic CI4 on the St. Croix is normally perfect and a Carolina rig. Some other basic necessities is one of these drop nets. It's just a metal ring with the net in it and a rope tall enough to drop down and get your fish, especially if it's something heavy that you don't want to break your line or lose it trying to bring it up. One of these pier carts or beach carts is great. This one has the balloon tires. I have the regular tires at home. I didn't really feel like changing them out last night because I didn't know what exactly I was going to do. So I left the tires on there, but they'll do fine because this new deck is not too splintery. It's pretty. And then a cooler, Alabama saltwater fishing license, and some bait. That's pretty much it. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater episode. This is a great time if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell so you get notifications for when new videos are put out. We are on the State Park Pier. It has been freshly reopened. Not completely. Uh, the Hurricane Sally did tear it up after the new renovations. So it's been closed a hot minute. But the state of Alabama opened it back up the first thousand feet. And it is a beautiful, beautiful renovation that they've done on the part that's open. Brand new wood. Look at that. What kind of wood can you slide your hand against and not get splinters? And you're not tripping over boards. The concrete's freshly painted. All the lighting works. The bathrooms are redone. The plumbing's redone. New benches. And we're just going to get out here and fish. I don't really care if I catch a fish. I'm just happy being out here. But if you're sitting at home watching this, just know that you're nice and warm and cozy while we're out here <laughs> freezing our tail off. But I hope that you're enjoying the view so far. I don't want to wet, uh, you know what? So I'm going to wipe this moisture off. This bench is nice. All right, this is normally the halfway point. So we call the T, this area. It's like the first octagon. It's where the bathrooms are. And this is almost to the end. Here's the new fish cleaning station. It's got grinder pumps and everything. This is awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool too. So I know everybody has mixed opinions on that here with the sharks. I'm not gonna get into that, but Pretty nice fish cleaning station. I like that. And this has always been a thing. Beautiful water.
This is the end of the pier. There's the octi out there. So even if you wanted to, you couldn't get to it. Pretty cool that they open up to here though. Ooh, Sally was rough. So I just left the false end of the pier or the new end of the pier and uh, they're catching sheep's head over there good size sheep's head 14 15 16 inches so it's it's funny because those fish haven't seen a hook in over maybe eight months or so so they they're not very pressured which is cool and then they're catching whiting up shallow i'm just on here kind of taking it easy enjoying my time trying not to freeze my hands off but uh maybe we can get into something i think your wagon needs some oil so I have switched over to try to sheep's head fish. Mom came, she did get to sleep in some, so that's fine. But uh, she brought some bait. So I have like a really large weight. It's a one and a half ounce egg sinker, which will work. A swivel, 15 pound fluorocarbon, and a little bitty hook. And then I'm gonna bait up with the filler crab and see if we can get us some sheep's head. Got my filler crab. All I'm gonna do, oh, without hitting the light. Well, I don't, I guess those lights used to be a lot taller but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> and all you do is drop down right in these pylons. And sheep's head will, can be, sorry, sheep's head can be suspended on the bottom or even right up on top. So I'm going to drop down the bottom, do three cranks and see if there's any fish three cranks up. Now they have a real, real, real subtle bite. But you really want your bait as close to that piling as you can get it. Oh, there's a bite. There's one. Oh, got one. Got one. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. The net behind you. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's, it's easy to unroll. <sighs> Just don't drop it all the way down. Boy, it's easy to unroll. Just, just throw that behind you. <laughs> Got one. Just drop it on down with your arm right. Okay, now okay. pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what a cluster. Yeah, it was easy. It was really easy to unravel. Oh, look. Oh, it's beautiful. Yay. Yeah, that's a keeper. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, yeah. So these sheets I do have to be 12 inches fork length, which I know he's going to make it. So we'll uh, measure them anyway and then throw them in the cooler. All right, I'm grabbing another filler crab. That was my first drop with the crab. Pinch the claw off, which I know some people don't, some people do. Who cares? You do what you like. But I pinched the claw off. I did have to throw on another hook because that mouth of that sheep said those teeth just crush that hook hook that filler crab and let's drop back down switch over to this side there we go you got one all right let me get the net what is it oh, oh you got a blue fish okay oh. Not really net worthy, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> got a bluefish. All right, well, caught a bluefish on a on a what was it, shrimp or filler crab? Shrimp. Shrimp. All right, you want to toss them back? We're not Look keeping at those them. teeth on, and people don't realize those got this. Okay. Bye, dummy. Throw them back. There you go. They have the bird deflectors, like they've always said. <laughs> those birds don't care. They don't care. It's funny. You good? Just fish right by that pollen. Fish by that pollen. By that sign over there. Hold it there, I'll drop this net down and then we'll got it on. All right. That's a big old I'm gonna dump them right here. Great, thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome. Good job. Need a net? Mom. 
Out. Yes, sir. Good one. Oh, redfish. Redfish. Heck yeah. He's a slot. Yeah. That'll be a keeper belt. Hopefully. He looks like kind of lower slot. There we go. He's a third time the charm. Oh, that's a beautiful slot, too. Oh, that's going to go good on the grill. Bro. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Woo! I got it. All right, just caught a beautiful slot red. 17 and a half inch slot red. He's gonna go in the cooler with our sheep's head. Come look at these sheep's head. All right, I'm gonna go over again what I was using. I am using a Stratic CI4 Plus 4000 with 20 pound power pro braid. This is a St. Croix Avid Inshore seven and a half foot medium action rod. I am coming to a one and a half ounce egg sinker to a small black swivel. And then I got to tie up again, but I'm taking about 12 inches of 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon to a number 12 mustache treble hook. All right, once again, I'm using a fiddler crab. It's just a little bitty sand crab, pretty much. Oh, there's one. Oh. Just missed one. Time to go get another bait. All right. I just missed one. I'm going to toss back in there. There we go. Need the net. Need the net. Got one. Oh, we got a sheep's head. Heck yeah. All right. And all you can do is just hold it here until the net comes. Drop down. I don't need to Oh. Yeah, they got to be 12 inches yeah. from the middle of the tail. But he might be barely a keeper. All right, I just caught another sheep's head. Throw him in the cooler. Oh, you got a nice one. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little slot and a couple more sheep's heads. So. All right, I just caught the sheep's head and that nice little slot red fish. I'm going to drop back down again and see if we can get some more. Mom's got one. Mom's got one. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. You got him? I'm not tied up good. I have a knot. Okay. I got you. Ooh. Just hold him steady. Ready? You're going to have to get faster. I know there's a knot in the line. In my line. In my line. There's a knot. Are you ready? Point towards him and pull. Yeah. Oop. This way. There we go. Okay. Got him. Sweet. All right, you happy? I am. Is this your first sheep set of the year on on the state park on the pier, pier, on the newly opened pier? Yeah. That's awesome. Pier. Look how pretty that is. Heck yeah. He was a fire. Look at the chomper. Heck yeah, awesome. You want to go throw them in the cooler? See if we can get some more. Oh, that. Oh, shoo. Okay, time to get. <laughs> They're right there. Sheep's head or redfish, something big. Just freaking yanked the heck out of my rod and pull it, pull drag. Yeah, yeah. The fiddler crab and he's lively. Let's get out there. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. This is a windy cold side. <laughs> All right. I just put it on a live shrimp, which he doesn't look that alive, but he's alive. <laughs> Toss him down. Twice. Oh, hey. Oh, I got a good fish. What do I got? Dang. What the heck do I have? What do I have? I don't even see it. Is that a pompano? Hey, that's a pompano. Go get the net. Please. That is a pompano. Oh, golly. Bring the net up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's been a while. That's a pompano. Dang it. You got one. There we go. This is awesome right here. I just call it pompano, and he's legal too. They have to be 12 inches total length. 
All right, I just got a freaking Florida Pompano. They do have to be 12 inches in the state of Alabama from the tip of the nose to the tip of their tail. But this is actually one of the best eating fish that you can catch on the pier along with their sheep set. So we're gonna throw them in the cooler. That is awesome. Oh, there's a bite or something. Oh, there. Oh, dang. Here, I'll net them. Yeah, you wanna grab that net for me? I don't know what it is, but. Oh, it's pulling hard. I just wanna see it. Oh, hey, redfish. Nice one. Nice redfish. Heck yeah, dude. Perfect timing, man. There we go. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Keep on catching fish. <laughs> it's a good day when you can do that. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's a good keeper. Ooh. Good job, man. <laughs> there you go. Good fish. Good job, man. What's Here's your name? Bro. What's your name? My name's Andrew. Andrew? Steven. Nice yeah. to meet you. You're you, saltwater. Right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. What is it? Awesome Deaf Angler. Awesome Deaf Angler. Yeah, I okay. Do have to. Okay, so Awesome Deaf Angler. Cool, man. Cool. We'll give you a shout out. Andrew, yeah. got a nice redfish. Good job, dude. What a day, I just got to say. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for bringing the bait. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we had a great, great day. So we're gonna walk off. I don't know if you can hear me because that squeaky <laughs> wagon, but that's fine. We're gonna walk off the pier and head home. All right. What's going on everybody? I could not have asked for a better day fishing or weather-wise, especially for this time of year. So it was nice seeing a whole bunch of old friends and meeting some new friends which is cool, haven't been out on the pier in forever because of undue circumstances, mother nature and getting it renovated, but they did an excellent job doing this. But I appreciate y'all for following along in this video, everybody sitting at home watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, this is a great time to go hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bell for more videos. We got a great year coming, great fishing, beautiful weather. It's gonna be fun. But I want to thank the good Lord of Buff for everything he does for us, and we'll see us later. I know. You got him? There you go. Oh, that's a stud, sheep said. I am. There you go. He's gone. He's gone. Mm -mm. 